guess it was partly my fault. I mean, I'm the one who came home early. And there he was. Well, at least there his ass was, because that's pretty much all I could see. <laughs> no, I, I could see his ass and a pair of legs wrapped around his waist. <laughs> and I remember standing there in the foyer, looking at them and thinking, they better not be fucking on my grandmother's dining room table. <laughs> and then she saw me. And there was all kinds of, oh my God, oh my God, Richard, Richard, and all kinds of grabbing around and looking for clothes that nobody could find. <laughs> and I remember just standing there being silent. He tried to fill the silence by apologizing. And then he tried to blame me. <laughs> and I thought, hmm, isn't this something? And I just stood there and I looked him dead in his eyes. Until eventually she left. And um I went in the kitchen and I grabbed a bottle of furniture polish and I handed it to him. And I said, you better shine this goddamn table until I can see my face in it. And he did. And I stood there and I watched him until he was finished. Then I went upstairs and I went to bed. The next day I put my grandmother's dining room table on the curb. It was gone in 30 minutes. I told him, you better be gone by noon. You know, it's funny to me how four years of your life can be shot to shit in a matter of moments. Four years. <laughs> four years. Well, now it's just me in this big old house with no fucking table.